for the victory lap, though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Lit the room when I came through the front door. Ask me if I should suffer, come work for. Train in the trees, please, walk in my chicken. All right, Sweat Fam, let's get it going. It's another interval style workout where you get to choose how many rounds you want to do. You have six combinations per set, 30 seconds per combination. We're working shadow boxing. If you need to let your hands go, let them go. Follow the combinations through the run through in round number one and then crush it out. Remember guys, if you are not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe tab hit the notifications bell so you know when these workouts are coming up follow me right now so you know all your combinations the first one is a one pivot left six three one pivot left six three jab pivot left right uppercut left hook one pivot left right uppercut left hook second combination we're working a 2-1 step left 5. Remember, these are all 30-second sets. So it's a right hand, left jab, step to your left, throw that left uppercut. So it's a rear cross, lead jab, step to your left, and throw that lead uppercut. That's right, 2-1 step left 5. And this is a fast, powerful combination. So when you step to your left to throw that left uppercut, let it go. Next combination, leading with the lead hand again with a three, two, three. And they're gonna throw a lead jab and a rear cross. Three, two, three, one, two. And of course you can step forward or back on that one, two. Three, two, three, or even work it moving with a pivot. Three, two, three, one, two. Left hook, cross, left hook, jab, cross. Combo number four. You're working a jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, left hook, then duck right. So it's a one, two, five, six, three, and then duck to the right. One, two, five, six, three, duck to the right. So again, a jab, cross, two uppercuts, a lead hook, the left hook for me, and then duck to the right. That's right, guys, you're working with me. You know what's going on. We're just flowing through these together. Next combo is a double jab, a 1-1, one, one, freestyle with only two punches. You can do that, no problem. And then make sure you pivot to your right. Jab, jab, freestyle, two punches, and then small pivot to your right. So that rear hip pivots to your right, left of your self paw. One, two body, step back, jab, right hook, one, Two to the body, step back a little bit, throw that one, four, so the jab, right hook, and that right hook can be to the head or to the body. Once you are done this combination, you're gonna go immediately into four reverse lunges and, the, and then four lateral cuts. Now this is just, of course, adding a little extra conditioning and as you go through the workout, the idea with this is the simplicity of these is going to feel harder as you get through round eight, nine, and 10. Okay. So we do that one time and then we go through those six combinations for one to 10 rounds, but you're going to stick with me. So let's go. Bottom energy to the side, jacked up and ready to go. 30 seconds, one pivot left, six, three, focus. Let's get it done. Three, two, one, go one. Pivot left, six, three. Now I want your hands up. I want your pivots strong and composed. Make sure you feel your balance before you throw your hands. Change direction every once in a while. So you can step left, step right, step forward, step back. Breathe on every punch. The bell will tell you when to stop. Just like that, you have a 10 second break. And of course, if you're looking, you can see NateBauerElevated.com. All your ad-free workouts are being uploaded and there's 109 other ones there. Let's go. Two, one, step left five. 
two, one. Step left, five. Bring those hands back, step, and then rip that uppercut. Boom, reset. Two, one, step. Boom, reset. The timer's in the top right hand corner when you're looking at the screen. You don't need much space, you just need intent and the willingness to get this done. For set number two, done, 10 second break. Three, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two. Get ready, go. Three, two, three, one, two. Three, two, three, one, two. And this is a great opportunity to throw punches moving forward and back. Ten seconds. Three, two, three, one, two. Time. Beautiful 10 second break. Again, shake your arms out. Move around a little bit. You're gonna work the jab, cross. Five, six, three, duck right. One, two, five, six, three, duck right. Let's go. It's constant work, constant movement, and of course you always have to think about composure when you start to get tired. And this is where shadow boxings count. And this is where shadow boxing gloves help because as you go through the session, they start to feel heavier and heavier and heavier, that's the idea. Five seconds. Great work, guys. Look at your target and time. 10 seconds. Again, I remind you to subscribe, hit the notifications bell, you guys. We've got to take this channel higher, and I need your support for that. Get ready to go. Jab, jab, two punches, pivot right. Let's go. Or one, one, two punches, pivot right. Fifteen seconds. There you go. Have fun with this one. This is a fun combination. Just nail it down. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful work. Almost through round number one. Two small sets left. You'll notice there's a lot of jab crosses in this one, right? One, two to the body, step back, throw a jab, right hook. One, two body, step back, one, four. Let's go. When you step back, step back the length of your forward foot. So don't step back too far. I'm exaggerating just so you see it, but you don't have to step back that far. 10 seconds. That's it, get down to the body, step back, reset, jab, strong right hook, and time, beautiful. Reverse lunges, four, let's go. There's no rest, what's up? Let's go, four lateral cuts, touch the ground, two, three, four, that's what I'm talking about. Now round number two is coming up, so this doesn't include your review round, round number two. Once again, check out NateBauerElevated.com if you guys want 109 workouts now that you haven't seen. Those are there. One pivot left, six three, ready, go. Jab, pivot, uppercut, hook. Jab, pivot, uppercut, hook. Think that tempo. Jab, pivot, uppercut, hook. And remember, your pivots don't have to be too wide or too long. It's about bounce and just slightly changing the angle. Five to 10 degrees is a big difference. Four, three, two, one. Very good, shake your arms out. Little break, little break, shake them out. Breathe, 
Again, think about the next combination coming up. You're gonna work the cross jab first so you know the two ones going first. Two one, step left five, go. Little faster this set. Pop, pop, step, pop. Pop, pop, step, pop. That's right, so you're popping my chin up. You're fighting me with that left uppercut. So you're stepping out of the way of a cross coming through and you're counter punching with that left uppercut. That's right, three, two, one, rest, beautiful work. Quick 10 second break, and you're gonna work with the left hook coming up first, so you know you're gonna throw that lead hand first, that lead hook, so left uppercut, right hand, left hook, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, come on. It's happening fast. Three, two, three, one, two. Add pivots of footwork in. Ten seconds. Even when you're here, you see a target. You see a target and you're trying to punch that target in front of you. Two, one, time. Don't look down, only look forward. Ten second break, relax the shoulders. On your toes, fighters. Stay on your toes, you're fresh and you're good to go. You're gonna be working the one, two first. Jab, cross, five, six, three, duck right, go. One, two, five, six, three, duck right. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook. Get out the way, move, back to work. Yep, that's right. You got this, you're good. Right up the middle with those uppercuts and then break down the side of the head with the hook. Nice work, 10 second rest, beautiful. Again, shake out your arms, roll your neck. One, one, two punches, pivot to your right. Jab, jab, freestyle, two punches, give me some power, pivot to your right. Uppercuts, hooks, crosses, head movement in between. Speed, power on those one, two punches. Visualize your opponents right in front of you. You're changing angles. You're too good to get touched. Nice floating on your feet. Nice smooth fluid movements. Break. Let's go. One. Two, step back, one, four, go. Remember that two is to the body, so it's a slight dip and rip, step back easy, throw the jab, hook to the body. Don't forget covers, blocks, slips, add them in. Visualize yourself in the ring. You are a champion. You're too good to slow down. Reverse lunges. Four, one, two, three, four. Lateral cuts. Get after it. Touch. Beat me. Two. Beat me. Three, four. Roll it out. Round number two is done. So you're just warming up, right? So again, you need to commit from here. Let's go all the way through three, four, five, and so on. You get a quick 20 second break and again guys this workout right here will be available on nate bauer elevated ad free so if you want to hit workouts like this on with no ads they will be on nate bauer elevated all right now focus bounce on your toes get ready we're working that combo number one the jab pivot six three one pivot left six three i want a little more power and speed now let's go one pivot six three move one, pit it, uppercut, hook, move. When you pivot left, think about pivoting off of the big toe in your lead leg. 
You're, try, you're drawing a circle in the sand and the dirt and the floor and the grass, wherever you are. That's what you're doing with that big toe. That keeps you nice and secure. You have a nice heavy foot, but you can still turn it. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Quick roll out. Get ready for it. You're throwing a cross, then a jab first. So again, get ready for it. To snap that cross before your jab. Two, one, step left, five. Go, two, one, step, five. Cross jab, step, uppercut. Smooth, fluid, composed. Your fitness game is increased, your boxing knowledge is better, and you're learning every single workout. Level up, get elevated. That's the whole idea around this channel. Three, two, one, nice work. That's a fun combo again. 10 second break, roll your arms out, roll the neck out, shake out your hands. Let's go. Three, two, three, one, two. Move. You can remember, you can advance with the three, two, three, and then you can advance again with the one, two, or you can pivot and then throw the one, two. Three, two, three, one, two. Bounce. Advance, rotate, pivot. Two. One time, beautiful. 10 second break. Roll it out through your neck. Loosen up those hands, stay on your toes. You're throwing the jab cross first. One, two, five, six, three, duck right. Get back into position really quick. Feel your feet stabilize and go again. Hands up, see your target. Ten seconds. When well, we gotta push hard on these, don't slow down on me. You gotta push hard. One, two, five, six, three. Get out the way. Resume. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Ten second rest. One, one, two punches. One, one, two punches. Give me a pivot and go again. Ready? Go. Be versatile on those freestyle punches. Work body and head. Attack, retreat, change positions. Silky smooth hands. Just have fun with it. Three, two, one. Man, you guys are crushing this. Feels good, doesn't it? It's a fun, high-powered session that seems, if you were to see the combinations on paper, they wouldn't look that hard, but over and over, they get you. One, two, body, step back, one, four. One, two, body, step back, one, four. Remember, hook, body, or head. Get in strong with that cross to the body. You have to get through the guard on that. Get through the guard and then come back out, sting with the jab to set the distance and then land that right hook. Yes. Let's go. Right into your reverse lunges. Give me four. Ready? Go. One. Hands up. Two. Three. And four cuts, pick a side. One, three, four. Just like that, another round is done. Your body should be heated up now. You should be feeling energized and preparing for the next four rounds, five rounds or six rounds. You guys are amazing, keep it up. Fight simulations. That's what it's all about. Put yourself in a fighter's mentality. Changing angles, never showing signs of fatigue, 
and outsmarting your opponent every time. One pivot left, 6-3. You're used to this combination now, so you know how it feels. The question is, is how smooth you can throw the combos now and with how much speed and power. Five seconds. Two, one, time. Nicely done, 10 second break. Stay on your toes, keep moving. Keep moving, champ. Two, one, step left, five. Go. Again, boxer's mentality, where's that five going? Right up the middle. That one two was that two one is hard because it's setting up that left uppercut. So make me keep my hands high, create an opening with that two one, and then land the uppercut. A real scenario, a real simulation. Make it work, make it count. Bop bop, open, uppercut, change position, and go again. And time. Good set. On your toes. Three, two, three, one, two, go. I want the three, two, three faster than the last time you did this combination. Three, two, three, one, two. Three, two, three is faster, the one, two is power. Advance retreat. Smooth footwork, no chicken steps. Every footstep has a purpose. Two, one, rest. You're ready for it. Jab cross is coming up first. Then add in the uppercuts. Left hook, duck right. One, two, five, six, three. Little shoe shine with that 5-6, come up top with a pivot and a strong torso rotation for the hook. Small duck, footwork, get back at it. 15 seconds. Yes, three, two, that felt fluid, didn't it? That's a fluid combination when you go through reps and you start to feel it out. Again, it's a great example of how composure allows you to throw those two uppercuts really smooth. One, one, two punches, pivot to your right, go. Remember, you don't have to pivot too far. When you pivot to your right and you throw, you can come back to your left. You can be on the inside or outside. If you're in the inside, pivot, come back, work the body again with a freestyle if you want. Three, two, one, nice set. On your toes, champ. If you want, give me 10 jumping jacks. Can you do it in 10 seconds? Get your jacks in between rounds now to amp it up. You always wanna step it up. Let's go, one, two to the body, step back, one, four. You know this combination now, so I want fast hands. You gotta dig that two to the body in with power and speed so you don't get touched when you go in or out. Bop, bop, back, bop, bop, move. Breathe, don't hold your breath, champ. Let your legs get you in. Let's go reverse lunges. Four, three, faster. Two, one, lateral cuts, go. One, beat me. Two, three, four, that's it. Let's get into round number five. I want you guys to, again, always think about the elevation piece. How do you take it up a notch? 
you push harder. In between rounds, you can do squat jumps, push-ups, shoulder taps, something to take your mental strength up a notch. This isn't about physical strength all the time. It's about what you're willing to do mentally to allow your body to work physically. Let's go. We add in a jab now. So it's a one, pivot left, six, three. And as we talk about those gains, we add in the jab. So one, pivot left, six, three, add the jab on every combo now. One, six, three, pivot. Or one, pivot left, six, three, one. Snap the jab out at the end of the combination. Again, you're resetting your position, your distance with that jab. So snap it out there to finish it. 10 seconds. Yep, that's it. Great set. So again, we're adding on jabs to every combo in this round. So get on your toes, get ready for it. Cross, jab, step left, five, one. Cross, jab, step left, five, one, go. Two, one, step left, five, one. So think of this one with your two, one, step left, five, one is the feel out when you add in the jab. And then once you feel it, let it go with a little more speed and confidence. Five seconds. And time. Hell yeah. 10 second break. You can roll it out if you want jumping jacks. You can do them here. Two push ups. Hammer them. That's what we do. Three, two, three, one, two, one. Go. You got this. Three, two, three, one, two, one. Just add a jab. Hook, cross, hook. Jab, cross, jab. Create some distance with your jab. You gotta extend it out. Eyes on your target when you throw that jab. Eyes on your target. Three, two, one. Yep. Quick break. Like I said, you know you can do work in between rounds or just roll it out and focus on the next one. Jab, cross. Uppercut, uppercut, hook, dock right one. One, two, five, six, three, dock right jab. So as soon as you duck to your right, snap the jab. After you duck to the right, snap the jab. Ten seconds. There you go. Feel the fluidity of the combination and then release a fast jab. Control the distance with that. And time. Think about your jab as doing two things. You're stepping in to close the distance and you can also use it to step out to re-establish distance. Okay, so it can work as offense and defense. One, one, two punches, pivot right, one. One, one, two punches, pivot right, snap the jab. Strong pivot, work different levels on that jab, on that double jab, body head, head body, inside, outside, small pivot, snap the jab. Two, one, time, hell yeah, get ready for your next upcoming set. By staying on your toes, you're primed up, you're flying. Jab cross to the body, step back. One, four, one. One, two body, step back. One, four, one. Let's go. Reverse lunges for four, 
four lateral cuts. Get it. One, two, three, and four. Again, decide. You going further? I'm pretty sure you're going to be going further. Let's get it done. Round number six. Figure out how you can amp it up. And you simply do that by doing some jacks or jump squats, split lunges in between rounds, or just committing to throwing your punches a little harder. Okay? Again, if ads are interrupting your workouts, guys, name bar elevated, zero ads, just so you don't forget. Let's go. Jab, pivot, left, six, three, one. Go. One, pivot left, six, three, one. One, pivot left, six, three, one. You can throw multiple pivots too. You pivot left within the combo, you come back to the right. Of course you can, that's the whole idea. That's how you learn. You gotta constantly change angles and positions, reestablish footwork and position, and then fire off again. Two, one, rest. Again, you know what to do. Extra work, roll your shoulders if you want on your toes, but just constantly move. You can build, you definitely can burn a thousand calories on this workout. Ready, go. Two on, step left. Five, one. Nice, you guys. See, it's all about composure. If you're composed on this and you keep your body really strong but relaxed, you'll feel how smooth this combination is. Three, two, one, quick break. You doing jumping jacks? See, you decide to do some. Nice work. Get ready for it. How does Nate know these things? Left hook. Cross, left hook, one, two, one. Three, two, three, one, two, one. Go. Just so you guys know, when I checked my data on this workout, I burned a thousand or actually 1100 calories. I'm going to release a video for you guys soon explaining why that doesn't always matter. It depends on what you're trying to get out of your sessions. But just so you know, for this one, I burned 1100 calories. Three, two, one. Good. And for me, that's a lot. Get ready for a jab. Cross is your first two punches on your toes. One, two, five, six, three. Duck right one. When you're ducking right, imagine again your opponents in front of you. That's the whole idea of shadow boxing is visualization. And when you come up out of that duck, you gotta make sure that you can see your opponent's chest and chin. So keep your eyes forward, thinking about seeing your opponent's chest and chin. Time. Double jab. Two punch combo. Pivot right. One. Come on. One, one. Two punches. Pivot right. One. When you throw your uppercut, once again, if you're throwing that rear uppercut, push off the rear leg. Use your torso to come right up the middle of your opponent. So from, from torso to chin, three, two, one, quick 10 second rest. Jab cross coming up first. One, two, one, two to the body, step back. One, four, one. One, two to the body, step back. One, four, one. Now you can imagine that you're working in a small space. You know, every ring was a different size. So some rings were small, some rings were larger. Maybe this one you're working in a small ring, so you don't have a lot of options to move. So work inside small angles. Yeah. 
gave me six reverse lunges, six lateral cuts. One, two, three, four, come on, five, and six. Nicely done. Little rest once again before we head into round number seven. You guys are amazing. You're kicking some serious butt. Once again, for round number seven, I want you to push harder. You're controlled, you're composed, you're good, you're having some fun. Again, it's a great session. Again, if ads are interrupting your workouts, you know where to find ad-free sessions. Jab, pivot. Six, three, one. Jab, pivot. Six, three, one. And we're gonna add some more punches after this. Go. One, pivot. Six, three, one. At this point, you know what to do. Always manage the position of your back foot off of your pivot. Don't lose sight of your vision. So don't be looking down, look forward. 10 second break. And that's all you have to do. Once you feel the, the combinations of the, or the movements kick in, the rest is just energy. Two, one, step left, five, one. Two, one, step left, five, one. You can bring that left uppercut. When you fully extend it, bring it just back down to your chin and then snap out the jab. So don't let that left uppercut hand come down past your chin before you release the jab. Three, two, one, beautiful. 10 second break, you guys are flying. Three, two, three, one, two, one. Go. Three, two, three, one, two, one. Advance retreat. You can pivot after. You can throw some head movement in there. Three, two, three, one, two, one. got this three two one you guys crushed that set good job you felt really fluid on that combination i am sure and you notice i use the word fluid control composure a lot because those are the cues or the movements that really matter one two five six three duck right one one two three or one two five six three duck right one How fast can you throw the five six into the hook? How fast can you throw that uppercut uppercut into the left hook? Keep your head still when you throw your jab. Don't pivot your front foot on the jab. Two, one, rest, nice work. Again, jack, split lunges. Whatever you got to do, stay on your toes. One, one, two punch combination. Pivot right one, go. Nice guys, keep it up. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yep. Quick break. You're going to be working that jab, two to the body. How explosive can you be on that cross to the body? One, two, body. Step back, one, four, one. One, two, body. Step back, one, four, one.
Remember, you gotta throw that tool to the body to break my arms apart. You're trying to get between my forearms. So throw it hard and fast as you explode in. And get out with the jab and land that right hook. Snap the jab again, 10 seconds. Time. Give me four jumping jacks. On your toes. Six reverse lunges. Go. One, two, mix it up a little bit. Three, four, five, and six. One, two, six of these. Three, four, five, and six. Round number eight is coming up next. On your toes still, you don't want to slow down. You want to constantly move here. Again, we're challenging you with mental strength, increasing your stamina, your ability to understand combinations while you're tired. That's the goal. Once again, jab, pivot left, six, three, one, two, slip left. So we're adding a two and a slip left. And that's how you finish this workout. One, Pivot left, six, three, one, two, slip left, go. One, pivot, six, three, one, two, slip. One, pivot, six, three, one, two, slip, go to work. That's it. See, again, smooth and fluid. Once you pick it up, it all works together. And time. Again, we add it on. The two in the slip left. We add it on the right hand or that rear cross in a slip left. Two, one, step left. Five, one, two, slip left. Two, one, step left. Uppercut. Jab, cross, slip left, go. Two, one, step, five, one, two, slip. Two, one, step, uppercut, jab, cross, slip. 20 seconds. Less than 10. Keep your hands up when you slip to your left. You can duck back to your right if you want. Time. 10 second break. Let's go. Three, two, three. One, two, one, two. Slip left. Three, two, three. One, two, one, two. Slip left. Go. Three, two, three. One, two, one, two. Slip left. Now play around with the one, two, step in for a one, two, step back with a one, two, step to your left with a one, two, pivot back to your right for a one, two, then slip. Five seconds. Stay with it. Time. Again, you're working that one, two, five, six, three. So I want a strong or fluid, fast uppercut, two uppercuts, and then throw that hook to the top, duck right, then throw that one, two, slip left. One, two, five, six, three, duck to the right, and then a one, two, slip left. Are you ready? Let's go, champ. Go. One, two, five, six, three, duck to your right, one, two, slip left. When you duck to your right, you can come back with a duck to your left and then throw that combination to finish it. So it can be a one, two, five, six, three, duck right, duck back to your left, one, two, slip left. Three, two, one, yep. Jumping jack, six, one, two, three, 
four, five, six. On your toes, double jab, two punch combination. Pivot right, one, two, slip left. One, one, two punch combination. Pivot right, one, two, slip left, go. You can always change levels on your jabs. You can always focus on head movement and always recognize your balance and foot placement. If it feels unstable, it probably is. Three, two, one. And then you're bouncing on your toes. You know what to do now, you're good. One, two body. Step back, one, four, one, two, slip left. Go. When you slip left, you can use that momentum to allow you to pivot to your left. So as you slip left, you can swing the rear hip behind you if you're right-handed, opposite hip if you are left-handed to help you pivot off of that slip. Three, two, one. Let's go. Six reverse lunges. One, two, three, four. Hands up. Five, six. Fast lateral cuts. Fast to me. One, two. That's it. Three, four, five, and six. Man. Nicely done, guys. We have two rounds to go. So you got to this point. You will finish this workout. Awesome job so far. You've done 46 minutes of work in round number nine we added in the slip right so this is how we further elevate optimize by adding in one more piece so your first combination remember you add it in a slip right off of the slip left one pivot left six three one two slip left slip right okay one pivot left six three one two slip left slip right are you ready in three two one let's go one pivot six three one two slip slip one pivot six three one two slip slip let's go That's right, you got it. There's nothing for me to say. You just work through the combination. You work through the set. You're moving around. You're letting your hands go. And now you're taking a break. Six jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six. But you said we're taking a break. You know I lie all the time. Let's go. Cross jab. Step left. Five, one, two. Slip left and added the slip right. Two one, step left. Five one two, slip slip. Two one, step left. Five one two, slip slip. Go. That's right. Now you got it. You'll notice as you go through the later rounds, it's harder to think often with, with through fatigue, but that's how it is in the ring. The later the rounds go, the longer the fight goes, the harder it is to think. Break. That was the hardest thing I found about boxing is how when your legs gave out, your arms gave out, and then everything just got blurry. That's why I loved it so much, or I do love it so much. Three, two, three, one, two, one, two, slip left, slip right, go. Hook, cross, hook, jab, cross, jab, cross, slip, slip. Keep moving. Forward, back, small ankle changes, body, head changing levels. 
outside inside. Three, two, one. Rest. Well done, guys. On your toes, champ. On your toes. Let's go. One, two, five, six, three, duck right. One, two, slip right, slip left. The longer combinations, even if you have to slow your hand speed down, it's all good because you never throw punches in a boxing match with 100% intensity unless you planned on ending it early. You're in round number nine, so now it's about composure and keeping your body controlled so you see everything. So when you throw this longer combination, think that your technique is solid more so than aggressive. Rest. I know I always push you, but at the end of the day, if you feel like your technique is, is falling apart, get it back and focus on the technique before you take it too far. One, one, two punches, pivot right, one, two, slip left, slip right. One, one, two punches, pivot right, one, two, slip left, slip right. Hands up. Two, one, good. 10 second break. One, two body step back. One, four, one, two, slip right, slip left. Go. We are almost there guys, we're almost there. One, step two to the body, step back, one, four, one, two, slip right, slip left. Now remember, if you mess up a combination, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you just throw your hands, you reset and you go again. It makes no difference, you just let it go. This one, we're working a little bit longer. Again, I'm just testing your endurance. So this one's closer to a minute. But again, just think of getting to the end of the round without breaking form or technique. That's what you have to do. Two, one, nice work, let's go. 20 reverse lunges. I said it, 20, you can see it on screen too. And then we do your 20 lateral cuts, and then we do this round one more time. Keep going. You do what I do. That's right, we got this, we're good. Lateral cuts, 20 reps, go, one, two, Three, come on. Four, five, six. Hands can come up in defense between if you want. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, yup, two, one. Round number 10. Now as you're probably a little more fatigued here, you know you got to the last round of the fight. It's a championship round. Everything goes down here. So stay with me on your toes, champ. Of course, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of the workout. I always appreciate seeing those on each video. So make sure you leave me a comment. Let's go, guys. Round number 10. You know the drill now. One, pivot left. Six, three, one, two. Slip left, slip right. This is it. This is how you finish strong. 10 seconds.
Yeah, nice. It's up to you now. Are you doing jumping jacks? Are you doing jump squats, tuck jumps, whatever it is? Or are you on your toes waiting for the, waiting for the next round? 2-1, step left, 5-1-2, slip left, slip right. Fast directions, fast coaching tips, get it done. 2-1, step left, 5-1-2, slip left, slip right. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Time. Beautiful. Again, what do you do between rounds? For it. Left hook, right hand, left hook. One, two, one, two. Slip left, slip right. Three, two, three. One, two, one, two. Slip, slip. Fifteen seconds. You need to finish this fight strong. You made it here. Maybe didn't know where you're going to finish. Maybe didn't know how far you were going to go. But you made it here. So let's go. And if you knew you wanted to finish, then finish stronger than you expected. Set your expectations higher. Time. You never just finish. You always got to give me 3% more. You got to push a little bit harder than you normally would. Let's go. One, two, five, six, three, dock right. One, two, slip left, slip right. Smooth, five, six, three. A nice pendulum, dock right, dock left, if you're bringing it back to the left. Nice. You got this, guys. Come on. Three, two, one. Six jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two sets to go, champ. One, one, two punches. Pivot right. One, two, slip left, slip right. Go. Come on, don't hesitate. Don't start the round late. Get in there. You're in the virtual boxing arena. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Nice. Good. Ten seconds. This is your last break right here. So I want you to go as hard as you can to win the title. Three, two, one. One, let's go. One, two to the body. Step back. One, four. One, two. Slip right. Slip left. I'm giving you an opportunity to throw your punches faster than me. So I'm giving you an opportunity to win this match. Come on, win it. Thirty seconds. Win it. Don't let me beat you with my conditioning. Find a second win, third win, whatever it takes. Push harder. Come on, ten seconds. Step into those combos. Change position. Throw them again. Counter. Slip and counter. Two, one. Let's go. 20 reverse lunges. Right away. Don't hesitate. You got to get in there. Do what I do. Follow my speed. We're doing this together. Work with me. Rep for rep. Lunge for lunge. Slide for slide. You ready? Go. 20. 2. Come on. 3. 4. 5. Push aggressively to the side. 7. 8. Halfway. Do what I do. Push. 
push harder. One more. Yes. You guys are absolutely amazing. Congratulations. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Let's grow the channel, guys. I need you to help me out here. Much respect. Make sure you follow me on Nate Bauer Elevated, Nate Bauer Fitness on Instagram. And of course, guys, check out this video. Much respect.